restaurant refuses service to Christian group due to anti-LGBT views. On December 1st, the um, Medsker Bar and Butchery in Richmond, Virginia, canceled a private event of a Christian group. The Christian group is associated with the Family Foundation, a Virginia-based conservative Christian organization, which is exceptionally vocal about its anti-same-sex marriage views, uh, anti-abortion rights views, and uh, their opposition to non-discrimination protections for LGBTQ people. The owner of the German-inspired restaurant, celebrity chef Brittany Anderson, expressed that their establishment respects all of the groups who, quote, deserve dignity and a safe working environment. The Family Foundation talked about the incident in a blog post headline, We've been canceled again! I'm like, you know, I love when Christians play the victim on this kind of thing. The, this is so crazy. This is so crazy, Armin. Listen to this. The director of the Family Foundation, Victoria Cobb, made a comparison of the current situation with, quote, an environment from the 1950s and 1960s, when people no of way. color and minorities were denied services because of their skin color. Wow. Oh, my God. The audacity. The audacity. The, you're comparing them being denied service because of their skin color to, to, you being deni- to you being denied service because you're an asshole. They're like, is this Jim Crow? Is this oh Jim Crow God. segregation? <laughs> Jesus Christ, these people are so full of shit. I'm swearing too much. Professor Elizabeth Sepper from the University of Texas stated that these two situations can never be compared. Supper said, quote, it's about the overall positions and policies the group has taken. It's not about Christian versus non-Christian. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, this is, by the way, this is the right form of, I, I mean, correct, what do you guys think? I think this is a completely okay form of discrimination. You are completely within your rights and moral more it's both legally and morally okay for you to refuse service people to people for them being dicks right for being horrible people these are not you being a bigot is not innate it's not uh it's not something that you didn't have any choice over right these are not um biological attributes that you're born with you decided to be a bigot so fuck you <laughs> go eat somewhere else okay, like, i gonna... think that's completely fair what i have an idea so in the write-up that we did for this on our website we um <laughs> we have a video of a person who's part of the uh, family foundation talking to a Christian broadcaster about her experience. And when I tried to watch this video that's uh, uh, posted below in our, in our write up, I only made it less than 30 seconds in before I got so mad that I couldn't keep watching. So I think it might be entertaining for our audience to see how long we can sit through this because I didn't even make it 30 minutes before I lost my mind. And I was like, you know what? This is disturbing my peace. I don't need this in my life. (laughs) Which one? Which one? This one right here. This one right here. Really? Okay. Let me see. Just watch the facial expressions of the woman who's representing the Family Foundation. She's going to be on the, the right side. Okay. Wait, I want to do full screen. Hold on. Can you, we okay, should go, go on Twitter. Twitter. I should go on Twitter. I super ironic. Wait, hold on. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm getting mad already, guys. I'm getting angry already. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And her yeah, smile the whole Wait. time makes me upset, but I'm going to obey TOS. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's, let me let me play. Let me play. Give me a sec. Yeah. Well, it's super ironic that the owner's statement that he has put out is so uh, all about being welcoming and tolerant, and yet their actions were so intolerant to Christians, to people who have faith-driven positions on issues like marriage and abortion, which is what my organization stands for. 
Yeah, and I know it sounds like you're, you had this reservation probably on the books for a while. It, what Look at her smile! Restaurant inform you they were. She's so happy to be so persecuted. She's so she's it's like a shit eating right, grin. We had this reservation for a couple of weeks for a private room in their restaurant, and only an hour and a half before we would have arrived at their restaurant, they called a teammate of ours and let her know that they would not serve us, and they said that a wait staff, someone on their on their team had looked us up and the, the wait staff refused to serve us. Wow, that is uh, incredible. Actually, you know, we actually reached out to the owners uh, of the restaurant as well. And, and they say the Family Foundation seeks to deprive women and LGBTQ persons of basic human rights. Um, you know, the statement in part that they gave us that we have always refused service to anyone for making our staff uncomfortable or unsafe and this was the driving force behind our decision uh, victoria your reaction to that when it becomes unsafe for people of differing viewpoints to be in the same room together simply to have a meal in fact not even expected to eat together just to be in the same room uh, we really have a problem. Our America is extremely divided, and it's really tragic that this is the way the restaurant is approaching the differences we have on these issues, which are, for us, a matter of faith. Yeah, and I'm curious. I mean, have you all ever experienced this type of treatment before? Uh, we certainly have had uh, other entities decide not to serve us. We had a, um, a, a data company decide that we weren't going to be a client because they didn't like our positions. We've had a website company uh, tell us that they wouldn't design our website. Um, so certainly, I think food service was the real shocking one that waiters would make judgments about who enters and who they actually serve. Uh, I don't think most Americans want to see a political or religious litmus test at the door of a restaurant. Yeah. I think I think Americans would like to be working in an environment where they are don't feel like they have to deal with Christian hate. Okay, so good job to the restaurant protecting both its customers and its staff with all this with this so-called Christian love. Again, people, there's no there's no hate like Christian love. Okay, there there are no group of people that have managed to most effectively pretend like they're loving while actually spreading the most amount of hate okay like christians um that was so yeah i did sit through it this time yeah I, she's loving it christian christians love, love love playing the victim card right their entire religion is founded upon acting like they're victims they feel they need this they need this they're like do something to us poke at us please like look at how much hate we're spreading please react because we need to act like we're the victims like yeah she's happy she's it, it also just makes me so mad because she's sitting there talking about like oh you know it's so ironic their statement about you know tolerance and accepting all people blah 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 <laughs> I was I, when I was preparing for the show today. I was just thinking about like the sheer level of persecution that like Christians go through in like Pakistan or what Dalit Christians face in India, where people will come like assault you with hot rods, like strip the clothing off of your the female members of your family, like just the sheer level of like violence and legit persecution that they face. And I'm like, does she even know, like? what like anti-christian like bigotry really is because this isn't it this is not no. it no it's it's uh, like well, such an insult to those people also the the idea of like oh how could they be tolerant where they did when they didn't tolerate us okay to be tolerant you require some level of intolerance okay it's called the paradox of tolerance go look it up like everybody knows this you cannot tolerate if you tolerate intolerance then you're not being tolerant because you you can't for example you can't tolerate nazism you're intolerant if you tolerate nazism okay you can't you're tolerating hate you're tolerating bigotry to be tolerant there require it requires you, you to be intolerant to hate it requires you to be intolerant to intolerance right so you might think this is contradictory, but that's how it works. You cannot be all open to all form of behavior. That is not tolerance. That was that is self-defeating. That will eventually lead to no tolerance. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, do you mind interacting with the live chat for a second while I go get some pain medication? Yes, of course. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Um, wait, what is this? Rashid is saying, Susanna, I know Christians. How can you say Christians are persecuted in Pakistan? Well, okay, they are because I know Christians is the worst way of you for you to decide whether something is happening or not. Okay, you you don't judge what's happening in Pakistan. This is why even if you're in Pakistan, you are your methodology of coming up with conclusion is completely flawed. I know Christians, so you're using personal experience and judgment based on the small sample sizes for you to come up with generalized conclusions on an entire country. This is why I think Susanna's understanding of Pakistan is better than you, Rashid, because you that's how you come up with your conclusions, based on I know some Christians. Um, yeah, again, see, this is... Again, this is, again, why Susanna knows more about Pakistan than you, Rashid. Like, say, in Pakistan, there have been Christian army generals. Again, this is like saying there's no racism against black people in the United States because we had a black president. These are such fallacious examples, Rashid. Like, yeah, Obama was the president in the United States. Does that mean that we don't have racism against black people in the United States? These are such fallacious examples. God damn it. Um... Yeah, let me see what else. I don't know what Secular Sakai is referring to, but thank you. Thank you, Secular Sakai. Uh, Mariam is saying, as an attorney, I'm terrified that these fascist, uh, the this fascist Supreme Court. Okay, so the Supreme Court is bad, but I think it's a stretch to call them fascist. Like, I don't think we should just throw... Again, it's conservative, it's horrible, it's anti-democratic. I hate their, the way that the Supreme Court is turning in the United States, right? But I don't think we should use the term fascist so loosely because it might lose its effect. Uh, so the Supreme saying this fascist Supreme Court will gut all remaining rights for those of us who aren't rich, white, Christian, cis, hetero. Uh, thank God I'm Californian. By the way, no hate to white people. Um, it's just, you know, just because we acknowledge that there's some, you know, privileges to being white in America, I just hope that um, nobody comes across as taking, come up with a narrative that we're being, because, you know, just, just remember, guys, like being anti white is also racism. Okay, Susanna's back. I, I loved listening to you uh, go off on uh, Rashid in the... <laughs> As I was looking for my meds in the background. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're saying exactly what I would have said. Um, Zagros is saying, Armin, still no news about the uh, the fate of Yuz's Twitter account? Okay, I don't know if there's going to be Twitter soon because did you? <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on over there. We should, you should be more concerned about the fate of Twitter as a whole yeah. rather than just our accounts. <laughs> so, I, don't know. I mean, do we even want to be on Twitter right now? The new policy is that you can't even post other social media. Like they're like, oh, Mr. Elon Musk, Mr. Free Speech Guy is constantly coming up with new TOS that is anti-free speech more extremely than Twitter ever was. You know, you can't post public information that is already out there about my private jet. You can't li you can't link to other social media because that would be advertising our competitors. Like, okay, wow, free speech. That's guys. crazy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like, we're gonna make it complete. Only we're gonna. He said the only thing we're gonna ban when I come on Twitter is things that are outright illegal. But now he's like having. Okay, it's crazy. <laughs> Elon, man. I don't know, the man. Oh I don't know gosh. how. The more I look at Elon Musk, the more I like. Okay, yeah, uh, stupid people can get rich just because you're rich. It doesn't mean you're smart. Yeah, he's just off there doing his own thing. Lord only knows. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm having fun with the live chat today. This is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free.
Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.